guys, how are you doing? This is Manga Sexual. I'm here today to bring you a beautiful fire brigade of flames. So this chapter is really split into two bits, and that's everything revolving Shinra. We've seen that Shinra from the previous chapter has knocked down Sharon, and like I, I said in my last review, I'm hoping that he wasn't defeated from that one hit and luckily I've got my wish and he has not been defeated he does get back up and he's still under attack so that fight is still very much going on and I am happy for that because I would have felt it was more of a BS um, thing where we just had Shinra power up with just the horn sign thing and that being able to defeat him I really do think that Shinra needs some outside help to beat Sharon, aka Benimaru. Benimaru needs to open the and do the deed. Maybe even Kong, actually, when we talk about it, he's um, yeah, um, so Benimaru needs to hop in there and help him deal with that situation. That's what I personally think needs to happen. So then we flip over to the flamed horn, the horn flamed human, and that's where the rest of the chapter resides. So I've said it previously in my reviews, I've said it in discussion videos that are coming out soon, so look out for those ones, um, that the flame humans, all of them, it's just the whole first generation of humans, we have not seen no progression of strength through them, even though we are told that, oh yeah, this one's better than this one because XYZ, or we just assumed because of XYZ, because for example, we have the normal flamed human, than the normal flamed humans, and I'm okay with those being fodder. I'm, I'm really okay with those being fodder, but then we've got the aware flame humans, and then we thought, okay, yes, they're going to be stronger because they are aware of what they are doing, they have awareness. And then after that, we got the giant ones, and you thought, oh my gosh, okay, because they're giant, they're going to be stronger. But we didn't get to see that because all the brigades that, deal, that were dealing with these giant flamed humans, and they were, because they appeared for one chapter, they all defeated them easily, didn't have no trouble. Then we got the then we found out about the horn flame humans and now they have shown that they're stronger by breaking out of um I think his name's Karim's ice. But other than that, the these they still haven't got a chance to show just how strong they, they are. We do see that Hinawa has trouble with um, with the flame horn flame humans because he's shooting at it and it doesn't seem to be doing the effect any effect. But what I'd have preferred more is that if we saw more of a struggle, if we actually saw the horn flame human do something, attacking people, just to show how much just to show that yes, this flame human is more of a threat than the others, and then Lichd or Victor or whatever his name is, then at the end of the chapter, that's when he starts to think of his plan and have this chapter end with saying, oh my gosh, I've got a plan, rather than us finding out within this chapter what exactly his plan is, seeing it getting put into action, and you can see the end result, the whole firestorm by the end of the chapter. And because it's a group effort of so many people, I am expecting it to be defeated, and if again, if it is defeated by this attack, I'm okay with that because it has included the efforts of so many people, and it's quite a detailed and complex plan. So I'm okay with the flame human um being defeated by it, but I'd have preferred beforehand that we saw it the flame human do more, and just to show just how much the struggle um the flame um, the fire brigaders were having with it before this plan came into action. So I'm going to give this chapter a three star review and call it a um, three star rating, sorry, and call it a review that calls guys and asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.